does mental health get uh, the attention that it should get? Um, it's getting more attention, uh, but not nearly as much as we need it to get, as some of the statistics you cite indicate. Um, you read uh, articles, and many people refer to the quote unquote mental health crisis. Um, you know, the good news, um, I guess, you know, uh, the good news is sort of the same as the bad news in a sense, you know, the pandemic um, has caused a spike in anxiety and depression and a whole range of counterproductive behaviors, but at the same time, it has really put a spotlight on mental health. And, you know, obviously we're talking about mental health within the context of the organization and, and the workplace, you know, uh, and within that context, it's really been a great leveler has the pandemic uh, been in that, it, uh, you know, it affects everyone at all levels in an organization. No one is exempt. More people in leadership positions have experienced issues themselves or seen these issues up close among family members and colleagues, you know, which has prompted them to take a more active role in raising awareness of mental health challenges and providing support and resources to make sure they're not impediments uh, to, to productivity. But of course, mental health has long uh, struggled with the overarching uh, stigma, which obviously prevents people from reaching out to get the support uh, they need. And of course, there are gaps in care, uh, gaps in access to appropriate personalized treatment and the dearth of available uh, ex ex experts. And I know we're going to get to that uh, in a moment, which widens those gaps and limits how many people actually get uh, the help and guidance they need. But also, um, there are some positive developments in the broader culture where uh, we're seeing people like Naomi Osaka, the tennis player, Simone Biles, the gymnast, Michael Phelps, the swimmer, Kevin Love, the basketball player. You know, if elite athletes are grappling with these problems, we can all have these problems. There's no shame, which tends to lower the stigma. So, you know, again, the, the, the pandemic has caused a spike in some of these um, conditions and behaviors, but at the same time has uh, put more uh, of a spotlight so to answer your question in some, uh, it's getting more attention, but not nearly enough.